Hi, my name is Paul Isker. I'm the Extension Field Crops Plant Pathologist at Penn State with Penn State Extension. And today I want to walk you through some of the growth stages we are seeing in our small grain plots around the state. This is a very important time as when as the weather as it warms up can induce a lot of rapid growth which will influence our decision making. The samples I'm going to show you today come from our southeast research farm at, uh, in Lancaster County. These samples were collected on April 21st and represent spelt, spelt uh, winter wheat, and barley. I'm going to use them to kind of give you an idea of the differences in the growth stages we are seeing because they're all at a slightly different uh, phase at the moment, which would influence some of the decision-making processes. What, what I want to also emphasize is that for the most part, what we're seeing with our spelt and our, our winter wheat is very similar to what we saw just with samples that collected uh, around that same date at our Rock Springs research farm. So first I'm going to start with spelt because it is the youngest in terms of the growth right now. And we've got some samples here for, to show you and I'll kind of walk you through what we're looking at relative to the current growth and development at this phase. If you look here, we have split samples and they're fairly consistent, I think, in what we saw in the field. But what I really wanna emphasize here are some critical things we're looking for. Uh, as you can see here with this specific example, you can see some of the root mass into the crown tissue. So we know where the, approximately the soil line is. Uh, right now, what we're looking for is any sort of evidence of the nodes being formed, so that first leaf uh, kind of coming out of the soil line, uh, that's where the first node will be formed. It helps us look for the, 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 the growing spelt head in this situation. And what I'm going to point out here uh, is that we can actually make out in several of these examples the growing point for where that head is relative to the soil line. Here's one example, here's another. The reason this is important is once that wheat head, or, or the small grain head in this case spelt, uh, is out of the ground, we have to be very careful in terms of our product selection for things like herbicides. And so I recommend that you look closely at things like the agronomy guide from Penn State Extension uh, as, a, as an indicator and also pay attention to the labels of any of the products you're going to apply. By definition for what we're seeing here, because the node is starting to form, although it's not easily identified by touch, I would call this Fix Growth Stage 5. So the pseudo stem uh, is erect in an in a elongation there. So we've got an upright plant that's very critical as we move through. The next set of examples I'm going to use are from our winter wheat plots and we've got various studies going on at the southeast farm and also at our research farm at Rock Springs, whether variety testing and also uh, federally funded projects from the U.S. Wheat and Barley Scab Initiative. And so these provide us ample uh, information to look at some of the variation of being seen from around there uh, at the moment. And what I'm doing here is just spreading out some of these cut examples uh, for you because again, it is all about identifying where we are at in terms of the growth stage at the moment. And so again, you can see, so the crown tissue, a uh, bit of the root mass soil line up. What we're now looking for is any further development that we're not seeing in our spelt uh, examples to identify different growth stages. In particular here, what I'm going to start to do is run my fingers uh, across that plant and I actually can here, and I'll try to bring that up for a close up, I can make out the first node forming here and that's really critical that way. It's an indicator for us to start to look for the growing point for the head and actually if you make that out here from the node up you can make out the growing head it'll also give you indicators here about approximately how many further nodes will come out what's important to note with most of our small grains is that we often see four nodes uh, in, in, a, in, a, in a fully elongated plant so this is useful for us to start to identify the further growth stages especially when it comes to what might be subsequent decisions that would be made going forward so with just a single node, and all of these are showing the same thing, again, I can run my fingers accordingly, and we want to make out there where that head is. It is above that first node. So by definition, this would be Feek's growth stage six uh, in these examples here. 
I also want to emphasize here with this, and I'm going to pull in a, in a different sort of approach to looking at these wheat plants. We can see here different bunches accordingly, and so small clumps, if you will, because again, wheat produces a primary tiller and secondary tillers accordingly. We often are working with that primary tiller to do some of our growth stage identification. This is really important to what we're trying to do for uh, understanding this growth and development. And again, in a population of small grain plants, we have to be very sure that what we're seeing is, is more than 50% of the plants or 50% or greater of the plants showing that same growth stage. For the most part here, this is, this is a reliable growth indicator for what we are seeing. Moving along with that idea here, and, and I'm gonna try to make sure this is visible for everybody. We have our barley plots. Barley is a bit further along at, at the Southeast Research Farm than it is at Rock Springs. But again, following the same sort of principles, we're gonna look at this in a couple different ways uh, to do this. I have a dissected plant here because what it's really showing is some of the critical growth and development that we're expecting. You can see here we have a, the first node coming out, a secondary node, the head is in between pushing out. You can actually see it's fairly well formed. We would have a third node, fourth node combination at this point uh, still to come. And it's at that fourth node where we start to see evidence of flagly formation. And so the, the growth and development here is a lot further along. Actually, in looking at the barley plants, we're seeing a lot of FIX8 to FIX9 growth stage. Uh, the FIX9 growth stage, which is flag leaf emergence, typically as it's described, you can see the ligulo, so that, that, that leaf roll is coming back into play accordingly. Uh, and you can make that out. And that's usually the, the leaf that's uh, erect and upright and very easy to see uh, as you walk into the field. But this is very important because oftentimes this has been a critical growth stage for fungicide decision making for things like powdery mildew and septoria. Uh, for the most part, also in our barley, this is an indicator for us to be prepared as, as this plant progresses through over the next uh, couple weeks for head emergence because that's when we're focused on uh, fusarium head blight prediction. Again, this is really critical because if we take some different examples just to illustrate what we're seeing here in terms of the, of the structure of the plant, you can make out again nodal points kind of running your fingers up the plant to where the head is but you can see here different forms for how that flag leaf is starting to come out and so our, our growth and development here is 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 a bit further along than it is for our other small grain which means our decision making right now changes a little bit over the next couple weeks if our weather warms uh, and for, as many of you know here in the northeast we've actually been kind of cool and damp I think that slowed down the progress, but if we get a warming trend here, drier weather, we could be pushing through these growth stages fairly quickly in all of our small grains. So understanding the growth and development is really critical. What we wanted to walk you through are some of the key critical aspects of how you look at the plant, how you dissect the plant to make that growth stage decision. If you have any questions, we recommend consulting the agronomy guide. There's a good uh, visual indicator of growth and development or feel free to contact myself as part of Penn State Extension or any of our Extension educators. Thank you.